Good evening, everybody. It's Zachariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, tonight, for our second of three miles, we are running for a fallen special agent out of the Texas Department of Public Safety. Tonight, I'm running for fallen special agent Anthony Salas, here with the Texas Department of Public Safety Criminal Investigation Division, and his end of watch was January 22nd, 2022, and lost his life after succumbing to injuries he sustained a day prior following an accident while conducting joint tactical operations with the Border Patrol BORTAC unit. He was 37 years old at the time of his passing, serving just nine years with the Texas Department of Public Safety. He was assigned to Special Operations Division and was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran. He leaves behind a loving family. Tonight I'm running with the blue line flag in his honor and I'll also be doing seven laps around track at my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. Some of you may remember last year when we ran for the Texas Department of Public Safety um, social agent who lost his life last year. Um, this was given to me by a Texas Department of Public Safety um, um, trooper. And now every single time we unfortunately have to run for a fallen special agent or trooper out of the Texas Department of Public Safety, we will, we're wearing this hat. So we're wearing this hat in honor of him tonight as well. And I'm also going to be joined by many first responders and my whole family during the run. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department. Three hearts, three hearts I'm going through, and then I'll be on my way. that are tuning in tonight. Tonight, Zachary like running his second mile of the evening. This mile, in honor of fallen special agent Anthony Silas. He worked with the Texas Department of Public Safety's Criminal Investigations Division. End of watch, January the 22nd, 2022. Tragically losing his life after coming, succumbing to injuries that he sustained the previous day following an accident while conducting tactical operations with U.S. Border Patrol BORTAC unit. 37 years old, was a nine-year veteran of the Texas Department of Public Safety, was assigned to the Special Operations Group, not only served his community, but also served his nation as a U.S. Marine Corps veteran, leaves behind a loving family. Zachary completing the first lap to honor this hero tonight. so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah. Tonight, helping to honor Special Agent Anthony Salas, we have members of the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, our home county agency. And running with Zechariah, we have neighboring agencies, Sanford Police Department, as well as the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based out of the Orlando International Airport. Zechariah's little sister also running tonight. Again, we're here to pay tribute to a nine-year veteran of the Texas Department of Public Safety, fallen Special Agent Anthony Salas. Tragically, he lost his life on January the 22nd, the day after an accident that took place while he was conducting joint tactical operations with the U.S. Border Patrol's BORTAC unit. 37 years old, was also a Marine Corps veteran. Zachary putting a second lap to honor this hero this evening. <laughs> by Zechariah, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero they runs to honor. Tonight, Zechariah carrying the blue line flag to honor Special Agent Anthony Salas. This flag will be sent to the family of Special Agent Salas along with a handwritten note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you like information on how you can be a part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. As Zechariah completes this next lap, starts lap number four, I'm gonna go silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on the nine years of service of Special Agent Anthony Salas. We extend our thoughts and prayers to everybody with the Texas Department of Public Safety, mourning the loss of another one of their own. Zechariah wearing his Texas Department of Public Safety hat tonight to help pay tribute to this hero. We hope this run honors him well. We thank him for his service, not only to his community, but to his country. 
May we never forget Special Agent Anthony Salas. Zachary, any final words tonight for the family of fallen special agent, Anthony Salas? 
for the whole family following Special Agent Anthony Salas, his loving family, and the friends he made during his nine-year service as a special agent. We hope you all heal very soon through the passing of your loved one. Um, this is not the first time we've had to run for the Texas Department of Public Safety, and this is also not the first time we've had to run with this hat on as well, sadly. And um, knowing that 2022 is still very early um, in its making, uh, losing an officer this early in the year is definitely not a good outcome for the rest of the year. So we'll continue to say our prayers for everybody over um, with the Texas Department of Public Safety, including the state of Texas. Um, they lose a lot every single year, and, and another one is just um, sadly too, too much more um, than they need in their um, big state. I'll never forget him, and we hope that with the help of the run tonight and the flag, um, that we can help make sure that, he, that the family department knows that he will always be remembered. I also know he was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran, so he um, had experience both military and police. Um, and I think overall he was just an incredible person. I'm sure he saved many lives in the process of his service as well. If you are part of the family watching tonight, we'll be sending you this blue line flag. We're going to have in the hero's honor very soon, as well as, well as a handwritten note that I've already written and is ready to be sent out in your hero's name. Uh, there's absolutely no preference on what we want you to do with the flag or the note, but whatever you do with it, we'll be finding comfort. Every single time you look at it, on, it that you're following hero, special agent, it's a loss. Let me forgot out here in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation with, with the help of running heroes. Now, if y'all would like to join us in a 21 second moment of silence, just like the 21 gun salute each second, they can run amazing things, special agent Salas during his life, including maybe a life he saved as an officer and in the Marine Corps, maybe an accomplishment, accomplishment he made during his life as well. Following that will also be a prayer. While we please bow our heads in this 21 second moment of silence, Tell the family department heal. Uh, please bow your heads right now. Dear God, tonight we could come out here on for a fallen. Special agent out of the Texas Department of Public Safety lost his life um, during a uh, training um, and he lost his life very young at thir the age of 37. God, watch over the family department that Dr. Mary going through. Texas definitely did not need to lose another first responder um, in the start of this year. Unfortunately, they have. So continue to watch over the family department as they go through a hard time. And God, any money to this run so they can find comfort knowing that there's people supporting them throughout this difficult process as well. God, thank you again. Jesus, we pray. Amen. And we appreciate you all joining us in this run. And we hope that we don't have to run with this hat, hopefully ever again, um, but at least the rest of this year, we hope that they can have a safe rest of the year for all of their members of the Texas Department of Public Safety. We still have one, one more run due to final one is for a fallen corporal. If all of you please join us now, run and mean a lot to help out their family and department too. We'll be all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first bar running tonight. And I pray God blesses you all.